Hello my loves, how y'all all doing? Hope you're all having an amazing and beautiful day. Today I am back here for a little bit of a build video. Um, I have been missing decorating in the game and really just decorating in general, y'all. Y'all almost caught me slipping. I almost opened The Sims 4 the other day because I was like, I really, really, really want to furnish stuff, but I didn't have any CC in The Sims 4 because I haven't played it in so long. So I was like, let me just turn this off real quick. But anyways, today we are doing the 360 Diner. Um, this was actually just random. I don't know, okay? I was playing the Legacy Challenge and I was like, I need more lots. I need more lots for my Sims. I want more stuff for my Sims to do. And I have been downloading an array of public lots that have been uploaded on Tumblr and just a bunch of other different places from other creators. And it's great. I love it. It's fantastic. They're so talented. However, my game can only hold so much CC, okay? She can only do so much. And I've noticed that my game's kind of started to slow down a little bit. And it just, it ain't for me, okay? I can't, I can't do it. So I was like, let me just make my own lots. Now y'all know, I am not an exterior person. Terrain, like the whole process of like the building situation is just not my vibe, okay? I create rectangles and then you done and that's what you get. I'm just not very good at that kind of stuff. So I did actually build the lot um, separately. And then the part that you guys are seeing is me furnishing a lot, which is probably how I'm gonna do it from now on, or just in general, like not from now on, but um, for this particular series, if you wanna call it that. I don't know if I'm gonna film every single um, public lot that I build, but why not? So I don't know, but let's get on into the actual build part. Now, y'all, I really wanted to go for like kind of reddish, bright red. There's just a lot of red on this lot. And I actually really enjoyed it. I just felt like it really gave off kind of a diner vibe, but more of like a modern diner. That's kind of what I was going for a little bit with mine was just to kind of still modernize it and make it very teenage friendly because I feel like this is definitely gonna be more of a teenager kind of hangout spot. And also, you can't see it, but um, I worked on kind of like, which you'll be able to see it more in depth in the photos, I worked on sort of like an artist wall sort of situation because where I live, there is actually a diner very close to me that does that where they have like this art wall of just random people, but they actually sell all the art and it's really cool and then they give the money to the actual artists themselves, but it gets hung up for people to buy, so I kind of, used that idea and incorporated it into the restaurant and then I decided okay definitely need to add a TV like people need something to see so added that TV in and it was just real good there um, and then what else did I do nothing too crazy honestly this lot is just very I don't know like I tried not to clutter it up too much because y'all know I love clutter okay I could clutter up all my houses all day long if I wanted to but we're in the Sims in general sis and you know she don't like clutter she don't appreciate the clutter the Sims be like D by we so I had to separate a couple of things and just kind of keep it a little bit minimal on the clutter side which I really uh, I wanted to add so much clutter I wanted to add so much to the bathroom and just so many little things but I was like no because my sims are gonna glitch it's gonna annoy me and it's gonna get my nerves because it's actually gonna be a lot that I'm gonna use not just in the legacy challenge but in also um, in also also in um, my other kind of households that I play off camera. So I'm really excited to use this lot and test it out. And I'm thinking of doing a couple of other lots. I've done the pumpkin patch situation, but then I realized that you can't even do pumpkins on public lots. So then whenever I um, finished the build, uploaded the video, I was ready to use it and I couldn't even use it. So I was like, child, why did I just waste my time making this? Okay, so. This is something that I can actually use, and so I'm just really excited. Um, I also added in the little cafe thing from University. At first, I wasn't gonna add that in, but I was like, okay, like I need another employee so it kind of looks more lively, and that's the only thing that automatically adds another employee in other than the kitchen, 
and I only really needed one chef like there wasn't really a point to have two so I just left it to the one and I hate to like be a negative Nancy okay because that's not what I'm trying to be but okay um I probably won't put this build up for download just because I don't like the outside like I literally did not try I feel like on the outside and it's just not cute however the inside is cute and that's all that matters i really want to practice a little bit more with my building skills and stuff like that and start to really get better and i feel like when i'm consistent with it um i just kind of slowly start to improve so as i'm starting to get back into the building situation again you know as i improve i'll probably start putting more of the public lot builds up for download um but this lot is definitely one of my faves. Feel free to copy it though if you want, like copy the inside or make a bad rectangle like I did, you know, and then just do the same layout. But I will have a CC link down below. So a CC link, a CC list down below. It's basically just like a notepad file and it has a list of all the CC and the creators that I did use in this video. So you guys can go and find it and, you know, just like recreate or use the same items, whatever because the CC that I use in this video really, really helped me out, especially for Around The Sims 3. Shout out to y'all, okay. Um, they had a like um, a little diner set that really helps. Like it was really beneficial for me because I couldn't figure out a lot of the time where I was going or like what direction I wanted to go towards. And I was just like, all right, like we definitely got to make this more of like a modern vibe, but still giving it kind of like that diner thing. And so I think it kind of worked out in the end. And I don't know. I also found that like during this video, I really wanted to download <laughs> more custom content. Like I need it. Like I don't need any more custom content. But I always feel like when I do builds or even like um, furnishing my houses, I just always feel like there's never enough CC. Like I always find that I use the same items. Let me know down below if you guys feel that same way. But I feel like with... You know, even like my decor items, I always use the same stuff because I just feel like I can never have enough. And maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me being a weirdo. I don't know. Okay, but I just feel like there can never be enough CC in my game. If I had like a super monster computer that could literally download every single piece of CC, I would do it because I just, I like to have variety okay and I was really wanting like different flavored pies and it was just too much girl it's too extra but you know you know what can I say um and yeah so I'm just again adding little things trying to kind of make everything come together because um I didn't really have a lot of decorative food to add on the shelves so I kind of just had to do pizza it kind of looks like honestly a pizzeria that just sells pies like I don't know but it, it's the look I was going for right I really like the jukebox as well I think it's super cute but when we come to the seating situation okay at first I was just gonna do regular seats and then I was like you know what I kind of want to do like an 80s not an 80s an 80s I don't know a booth diner kind of vibe I wanted to do that um, but then I was like if I do that like it's the Sims 3 you know so they're gonna lag they're not gonna be able to sit in the seats they're gonna be like diva we because it's literally right next to each other so they're not gonna be able to get in especially because it's right next to the window so I was like dang it not an option we're gonna have to figure something else out so what I did is I just did two seaters instead of four, which I really wanted to do four seaters. I really wanted it to look like a booth, but I just knew that it wasn't gonna work. So there was no point of even wasting my time. So I just did like the one booth seat and then them up opposite of each other. Oh, it just broke my heart because I really wanted to do it the other way, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I did the table and then of course the booth seats and everything. And I kind of wanted to do a lot of red like just overly overly done red but you'll see that later on in the photos um, I didn't actually end up going with the same flooring and I also changed just like a couple of little things off camera because as I was doing it I was like okay the red flooring is a little too much so I changed it to white tile flooring which I think actually looks a lot better and it kind of like makes it seem like it's not too much red so I think it worked out also, by the way, if you hear any noise in the background, it is raining really, really bad where I live and it's probably going to rain for the rest of the week. So really exciting. Uh, but yeah, so I am just now finishing the tables or the last table. 
I think. I think this is the last table. I may add an extra one because the problem with these smaller lots in my game is I've noticed that they get populated really quickly and then it's just too much. Like too many sims trying to argue for space. So I also left a lot of blank space in the arcade area as well so I wouldn't really have that issue. Um, but I decided later on that I wanted to do an arcade because at first this was just going to be like this was going to be the dining area and then I was going to add more seats um, on the opposite side or even add like a little party room but I decided not to do that because I was like okay like I kind of want to do an arcade so it'll give somebody or like people something to do if they're not eating or you know they're not they're not eating so I was just like all right like let me add an arcade so that's what I ended up doing I added a little arcade section but I think I'm thinking about adding or like making a pizzeria of some sort not maybe not I don't know I'm gonna do another restaurant I don't know if it's gonna be a pizzeria or like a burger place I don't know but I'm gonna add another or do another restaurant and I think in the restaurant that I'm gonna do I think I will add a party room because I really want a place that my sims can throw their birthday parties without me always having to go in and edit a lot so I think I need like some type of party place I don't know I feel like maybe this lot would have been good for that man okay I missed my opportunity it's fine it's fine it's, we're good okay I can go back in and I can decorate it and do all that stuff but yeah so there's just a couple of other lots that I'm thinking about doing or that I've always thought I've wanted to do in The Sims 3 and I could just never utilize it because I was like nah I can't build like that like I can't do that but I don't know there's a lot of different things that I have ideas for builds let me know in the comments down below what is a public lot that you've always wanted in The Sims 3 but never get one of my the biggest lots that I wanted is actually a putt putt golf lot and a place that your sims can actually like go in and golf and that's the premise of it and then also a drive-in movie theater I found a putt putt golf place lost my mind the only thing with the drive-in theater is that you have to use the theater from Roaring Heights or not the theater the car from Roaring Heights because otherwise the sims won't sit in the actual car like they'll literally do nothing like they can't sit so I just don't know what to do like I don't know I don't know I have so many different ideas but I don't know if I'm gonna ever be able to really implement all of them but let me know in the comments um, a lot that you've always wanted in the Sims 3 as I said because um, I'm really interested I want to know because I definitely have a couple lots that I've always wanted or that I want to make um, there was also a zoo lot that somebody created that was amazing that I freaking hmm, it's so good it's so good I love it um, and I wish, I wish I could do that. I wish I had those high ones. Uh, but yeah, so I think it'd be really cool. Um, I would also really like just a legit carnival. Like, yeah, the carnival that came with the Sims 3 store was great, like, cool. But I want more like an advanced one. Ooh, and it'd be cool to have like a restaurant that changes every single season. How, can I do that? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> if anybody knows that, let me know because it'd be so cool to have like all my restaurants like during the Christmas season or like during Halloween. They like kind of change up the indoors of the restaurant just a little bit. I don't know. Let me know if that's possible in the comments if you know at all because I would really be interested in knowing if that's a possibility because if so I will be redecorating this entire lot and starting all over again so I can make it based on the holidays because that'd be so cool. I could make it like black and orange instead of red and orange for spooky day. That would be everything. Okay. Also, what would be really cool is having a grocery store in The Sims 3 that you could actually go into. I would love that. Okay. I actually think I might create that. But the only thing is that you wouldn't be able to buy produce. But that's okay. Okay. We don't need produce. We don't need all that. I don't know there's got to be a mod out there somewhere that lets that be a possibility I don't know I feel like there's just so many great mods in The Sims 3 that something there's something I don't know Back to the furnishing so uh, right now I am actually working on the arcade area so at first I wasn't gonna add a photo booth in here I was actually gonna add like more arcade machines but I was like you know what I kind of want to do the photo booth because I really, really like going to the photo booth in The Sims 3. It is also one of my favorite furniture pieces is just the photo booth in general. I think the photos always come out so cute and I just love it. So I thought I'd add it in. It'd be like a cute feature and also it's a teen hangout. So it's the perfect thing to add in for your teenage Sims to take a photo or, or for my teenage Sims to take photos, whatever. 
it's just super cute and I love it and it's great and ah. Uh. Okay, so on the opposite side, I was like, all right, I think I'm gonna do another art wall, but I was really struggling with the first art wall and trying to find enough food related photos. I could not find any to do another art wall because I, I really just try to like make sure that all the art that I put on was food related. It was just a personal preference, so I really didn't need to do that, but I just wanted to. Okay, okay, don't judge me. Anyways, so um yeah now i am adding in photos but none of them are food related they're kind of more like fantasy kind of galaxy sort of related and that one says travel something about eating it said something about eating i was like let me add it in okay so that's really the only thing that's eating related but everything else see i was like even trying to continue to search for food food photos and then i was like okay let me go out of my game try to search something up on Tumblr and I just could not find anything so I don't know but um, I actually ended up with liking that the the way that this was kind of done because it fit the arcade dynamic and everything so I'm not too sad about it but I'm a little sad about it it's fine um, but yeah so I added in a couple of little things or a couple of more things to the wall and then after that I was like all right gonna need to add just something else fun for my sims to do I, again like I really didn't want to clutter the room too much because I just knew that my sims were gonna get annoyed it was just gonna be not my sims were gonna get annoyed I was gonna get annoyed with my sims in general because they're just a mess but I love them anyways so I added in a whack-a-mole and then I think that was it I think I'm done after this point and I just kind of started tweaking around with little things and trying to see what I could do if I could add an extra rug or do anything um, but I always just ended up kind of going back to what I was doing before and I think here I'm actually adding in what's supposed to be a rug but I'm not sure if I keep it or not so that's hilarious I don't remember if I keep this I'm pretty sure I think I do I don't know but I changed the um, again the other part of like the dining area to white because it just fit more um, so I don't am I adding just I'm just adding posters just random posters I was so desperate to try and find posters that would mat match everything that I was trying to do so I don't know it was a lot of poster searching most of this video like I took out a lot of footage because most of it was just me trying to pick out posters like the entire first part of me doing the art wall I pretty much cut out because I was like I spent just 30 minutes to like 45 just picking photos okay it was very a mess so I was like all right let's cut this out and see what we can do from there but right now I am adding in some mirrors because I thought that would be really cute and then the bathroom is just super super freaking basic like I made the most basic bathroom just like white and plain because I was like I do not care too much about this bathroom I'm gonna be completely honest like I was just over it at this point um mostly because I feel like with bathrooms in public lots like who cares you know like you're just going to use a bathroom you know you see and then like it doesn't have to be that gorgeous so I just really it was like all right let's go basic let's just go for white and call it a day so that's what I'm doing I did like a white brick and then I only was able to fit in two stalls and then like a sink which is another reason why I didn't go too all out is because it is kind of just like a basic bathroom it's very 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 small so adding anything else would have just been too much clutter um, so hopefully a lot of sims don't come into this bathroom at once because it's gonna be a hot mess and hopefully they're even able to get out of the bathroom but um, I really love these cabinets. They're super, super cute. They're some of my favorite cabinets, and I really wanted to utilize them because at first I was going to use them in the diner, but then I couldn't use little chairs, so I was like, all right, well, I'm going to have to pick something else. So I was happy I was able to at least use them in the bathroom because they're really cute counters, and I always use them, and they're cute. So um, anyways, yeah, I'm almost done with the bathroom, and then I think from here... The video is pretty much almost done and you guys will be able to see full pictures of the lot and kind of I what it looks like to see if I'm actually going to keep up with trying to create as many public lots as I can. I want to see how many I actually end up finishing up with and I don't really know what's going to happen but anyways um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out the link down below to download the CC list if you are interested in any of the items that I use in this video. It'll all be 
informed in one document down below and you can download the CC used in this video because that's great. And we wanna appreciate the CC creators. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much and I will see you all very soon with another new video.